Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dilara and today I'm back with another makeup look. Today's makeup is going to be another updated makeup look, which I already posted on my Instagram. I really like this makeup, but my skin is really oily. Other than my lips and my eyes, the rest of my makeup isn't obvious. So I decided to recreate this look. Okay, before we start with the new vlog, look at my makeup bag. She's finally here and I mean, look at how pretty this is. I ordered a pink one. There wasn't another option to choose a black one as well, but you know, this is the classic one. And I think people tend to buy the pink one more than the black one. And I just love the shade of it. I mean, look at this. This is the cutest pink shade I've ever seen. I ordered this from Style Nanda 3CE from South Korea and it took about one and a half months for it to finally come but she's finally here I don't know why but I think it got stuck at the customs I have no idea why but anyways I cannot wait to carry this with me everywhere also this is not even the large size I think this is the regular size the medium one you also have an, another option to choose a bigger size but I mean look at this this is huge before getting this I was actually carrying two different makeup bags with me because I couldn't fit all of my makeup products in one makeup bag but with this everything fits in it I'm really glad I bought this product I'm telling you, this is the best purchase of the year. I'm literally so in love. Seriously, this is perfect. Okay, I think we can now move on with the vlog. Okay, I think this is better. Also, I finally have a liquid foundation. This is the L'Oreal True Match Plumping Tinted Serum Foundation. Actually, before we start with the makeup, let me just show you the skincare products I've been using lately. I already did my skin prep before actually starting to vlog, but I just want to show you guys the products I am I currently have right now because I changed them. So, this is the new toner I have. This is from Essentree Green Tea Fresh Toner. Personally, I'm not really a big fan of it because I really didn't like the smell. I don't know why. I think it's supposed to smell like green tea since that's the name and that's the product they're putting in it. But I don't know. I just didn't like it. And I personally think it's kind of harsh on my skin. I, I really don't know why, but with the Sun By Me toner I had the previous one before this, I would apply only one layer, but it was really hydrating. But with this, I'm actually applying two layers and after applying, it still feels like my skin feels so dry after this. I don't know why, but I mean, I just started using this, so I want to see how it's going to change my skin. But personally, I see a big difference comparing with the toner I had from Some By Me because I would often get breakouts. But ever since I started using this, it's been like a week, my skin is calm, calmer right now. I don't get many breakouts as much as I did last month. And I want to show you guys the texture now. I still have pimples. I get them constantly once a week. So I don't know if I should switch to a different product that is actually good for acne prone skin. But I just want to give this a chance and see Oh, it's gonna turn out. I was using some by me's vitamin C serum, but I am using retinol three times a week at night. And I learned that you shouldn't mix those. Like vitamin C and retinol shouldn't go together. That's why after finishing the bottle, I actually switched to a different serum. This is actually an ampoule. This is the Tone Brightening Capsule Ampoule. So from what I understood, you can actually use this at night and in the mornings. It's fine if you mix it with vitamin C or with retinol. I'll use this and see what happens to my skin. So I just wanted to show you guys the products I'm using. This is like a mini updated skincare routine I have. So these are the new products 
I add it to my routine. And as usual, I'll start my makeup routine with applying sound cream. This is Essentry's Hyaluronic Acid Natural Sun Cream. I used this in my previous video, so I think you guys are familiar with it. So I'm applying to two fingers bird and then applying to my skin evenly. I'm currently using Essentree sun cream and uh, Beauty of Dawson's sun cream. I've been loving both of those products, so I don't have a preference. I'm applying both of them evenly. So it depends on which product I find first before going out. If this is somewhere closer before I go out, I use this. And if not, if I find Beauty of Joseon sun cream first, I just go with that one. But I think they're both okay. They're really good products. And I'm telling you again, don't forget to apply your sun cream, sun gel, whatever you prefer before going out, even in winter, because it's October now and the winter is coming. It's fall season, but sun cream should be applied every single day, both in summer and in winter. I've been obsessed with anti-aging lately. I don't know why, because I'm only 21. I'll be 22 next week. But I don't know, my worst nightmare is literally getting wrinkles and wearing a sun cream is the best thing you can do to your skin to slow the aging effects. Okay, I wait for a few minutes to let my skin absorb the product and I think we are good to go. So this is the L'Oreal foundation I have. I finally have a liquid foundation and the reason I purchased this one is because it says into serum i don't know if it's different from a regular liquid foundation but i'm really scared that if i ever wear a foundation like applied all over my face my skin would get get breakouts i would ruin my skin i was really scared of that that's why i never wore a liquid foundation before this will be the first one i'll try so let's put it on okay i think before wearing it you need to shake the bottle so that's what i'm going to do I think this is okay now so what I'm going to do is the applicator is just like applying a serum it's the same I don't have a foundation spatula but I don't want to wear too much so I'm going to use this like a spatula to apply it on my cheeks and on my forehead Okay, you know what? I need a mirror, just not this won't work. And then I'm going to blend it out. Before blending it out, it looks like it's the darker shade. So I really wasn't sure if this is the right shade for my skin But it blends out really easily and after blending it out It doesn't look like my skin changed color So I think it matches Also, this is really lightweight I don't know why because some people were saying that that was too heavy and they felt crazy Their skin felt crazy all the day and some said it was really light, so I wasn't sure which foundation to buy. But since I don't know how to actually wear it, and this is gonna be my first time, I didn't wanna buy an expensive foundation from a brand, luxury brand or Sephora. So that is why I decided to go with a drugstore one. But to me personally, it is really lightweight. It doesn't feel like you're wearing foundation at all. So that's what I love about this serum foundation. Meet my new Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I finally have a new one and I cannot wait to try this concealer. 
I think this one meshes with my skin color way better. So, okay, I'm gonna cover the pimples first. This is really a bright color, so I'll apply it under my eyes to have that brightening effect. So this is how it looks right now. Before applying the rest of the makeup, I want my base to look smooth. That's why I'm going to apply this NYX press powder to my face and then continue with my makeup. And after the powder, I'm gonna contour my face with the 01 Old Grain shade. I need my mirror for this because I'm going to contour my nose first and then continue with my jawline. Now it looks like I have a butt nose, at least that's what will look like when I'm done, hopefully. And then I continue contouring my nose bridge and then continue onto my eyebrows. I'm gonna get my Maybelline blush as usual. Okay, what I did with that makeup is I applied at the top of my cheekbone. So this was like the main center point and then blended out towards the end. And then I'm going to apply this highlighter, only a little bit. I don't have a brush for the highlighter, so I'll just use my hands as usual. this makeup, I'm only going to apply one shade for my eyelids. So I have this clay color peach form from Etude House. I'll take this shade and then apply it all over my eyelids. This is a setting spray I bought from MAC. I've been using this for the past few years at least. And I love the smell of it. This is the coconut one and it smells amazing. Okay, I don't know if you've seen it on TikTok, but you know that viral eyeliner trick where you hold the eyeliner still and then move your head and the eyeliner just goes like dead. The last time I did my makeup, I actually did that. I don't know how, but it somehow happened, but I'm not sure if it's gonna happen this time. We'll see. So what I did was just to point the end of my eyelid and then move my head. I feel like I need a bigger mirror 
You know what, I'm too lazy to get up, so this will do. Okay, in terms of angle, I don't know if it's the same one as I did the last time. But I think this will do. Now the other side. Okay, now I'm going to fill it in. Okay, for a second, I really messed it up, but it's fixed now. It doesn't even look like the eyeliner I did the last time, but I don't know how I did it, so we'll just go with this one. I mean, at least they are even, so that's something. Doing the eyeliner is my least favorite part because I always mess it up. It's like the hardest step. And then I have my Maybelline Lash Sensational in the color Very Black. This is my ultimate favorite mascara right now. The Kiko mascara I have is more dramatic, but with this one you can actually go very natural. What I love about this mascara is that it has two sides. With the curved part, you can apply it on your lashes. And then with this other side, you actually use it to separate your lashes. You apply the curved part first. Okay, so now they look like they're glued to each other. That's why I'm gonna use this part to separate them from each other. I mean, look at this. At least for the next few makeup blocks, this is the mascara I'll be using. This is my new lipstick from L'Oreal and I'm so excited to wear it for this video today. This is the lipstick I was wearing in the picture that I posted on my Instagram. I think the color is perfect and it's a similar shade with the Viral Clinic Black Honey, I think that was the name. So if you don't want to pay that much money for that Clinic lipstick but still want to have a lipstick in a similar shade, this is it. This is the color Mulberry Aesthetic. This is L'Oreal's Glow Paradise lipstick. And I think this is new. I'm not sure, but it's currently viral on both TikTok and Instagram. And the color is really good. I'm so in love with this lipstick. Look at the color. And this is the look. Personally, I think you can never go wrong with this lipstick. It's so easy to apply and I just love the way it looks on my lips. Thank you so much for watching till the end. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!